Hello, the witch is back. Yes, I have been gone for a bit. I will address that a little more in my next video. But for this video, I want to really quickly talk about Samhain. As of filming this, it is this upcoming weekend, so I have a very tight turnaround to make. Samhain is a pagan harvest festival with mainly Celtic origins. It is a celebration of the last harvest before the dark months and also a celebration of death because of that. It is often called the Witch's New Year uh, because it is the end of the harvest season and essentially in a way the end of life for the darker months. At this time of year, it has been said that the veil between our world and the spirit world is at its thinnest. We use this time to honor our ancestors and to honor our loved ones that have passed and celebrate their lives and their memory. Traditionally, this time of year is also marked with Halloween and Halloween parties. Depending on your circumstances this year, many of us in 2020 will be celebrating alone or solitary. I am a solitary practitioner myself, so I normally celebrate Samhain alone, but this year in particular, instead of, you know, gathering with my friends, it's just gonna be me. So here are a few ways that I plan to celebrate a solitary Samhain. And I hope that these will help uh, give you some inspiration and ideas on how you can celebrate. Protection. Now is a great time to reinforce your spiritual protection. Uh, do a cleansing, recharge, renew, or create any new wards to protect your home, your loved ones, your pets, your houseplants, whatever. Harvest. If you have a garden with herbs or food, now is the time to harvest it and start to use it or dry it or freeze it while you can. Host a supper for your spirits. If you did harvest any herbs or vegetables or fruits, you can incorporate them into this meal to celebrate the harvest. Set a table for not just yourself, but also a few extra spaces to welcome in the spirits or energies or memories of uh, your ancestors or your loved ones. Some practices celebrate this as a dumb supper or AKA a silent supper, not dumb as in stupid, but you would sit and enjoy your meal in complete silence. Other traditions will treat this more like a loud party celebration of life and death. Uh, it just depends on your path and your preferences. I personally prefer to at least have some music that puts me in a nice calming, autumnal mood that will also feel very welcoming to your uh, spirits or ancestors or just memories. You want to welcome your ethereal guests in. Speaking of spirits, creating an altar to honor your ancestors and those who have passed on is another great way to celebrate Samhain and their memory. You can also decorate your own altar or just your space with autumnal decor. You can use things like gourds, dark or smoky crystals, candles, herbs, skulls, apples, anything that brings the spirit of fall to your altar or your space that you'll be spending Samhain in. Many of the pagan holidays are celebrated with a bonfire, but you can celebrate with just candles instead. Or if you can't have a real fire, you can use a symbolic fire, such as a fireplace for your home video. It might seem silly, but it will suffice in a pinch. Buddy, hi, welcome to the party. Divination. Because the veil is said to be thinnest at this time and because it marks the end of the harvest season and the end of the year, uh, it's a great time for divination because you can use it to reflect on the year past, you can use it to reflect on the upcoming year, and you can use any form of divination you prefer, tarot cards, runes, bone throwing, whatever it is. <laughs> That said, if you are already lighting a bonfire or a candle that represents a Samhain bonfire, uh, fire scrying is great at this time. You can gaze into the fire directly or you can use a scrying mirror or a scrying bowl, which is just a dark vessel for water so you can get that reflective surface and you can use that with your candle. This particular Samhain in 2020 is a full blue moon in Taurus. I personally will be spending a lot of time just trying to keep grounded, especially after any protection or divination work that I do. 
There are many methods to grounding. If you're new to it, I recommend starting by finding a guided grounding meditation. To put it very simply, grounding is a meditative practice where you focus on your breath and on your physical connection to the earth. Both full moons and working with death, even as a celebration, can trigger a lot of emotions. So it's good to reground yourself when you feel like you need it. So there are just a few ideas of how you can celebrate a solitary Samhain. There are so many different ways that you can celebrate. This is just how I plan to. I hope this helped give you a few ideas. Let me know how you plan on celebrating Samhain in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.